Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called You're Still the One by Shania Twain. And it's going to start on a C major chord, and the way you play C major, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And on our intro and our verse, we're going to kind of start on the C major twice, and then we're going to be going to an F major chord. Now, if you know the bar F major, we'll talk about an easy way to do this in a minute. But the bar F, you take your first finger and kind of put them across the entire first fret. Second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. Third finger on the A on the third fret. And the pinky is going to go to the D string on the third fret. And if you kind of strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord and it sounds really, really happy. But a lot of times if you're just starting out and bars are kind of difficult, we're at, we're, you, there's a good substitute for that called F major 7. And the way you play F major 7, first finger is going to go on the B on the first fret, second finger on the G on the second fret, and third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, just kind of the top four strings, that sounds an F major 7. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the F major 7, we're going to be going to a G major chord. And the way you play G major, first finger is going to go to the A on the second fret, Second finger is going to go low E string on the on the third fret, and the third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really really happy. And so our verses and our intro are kind of starting on the C major, C major, F major, G major, C major, and then F major, and then G major. Major, and then C major, and then F major, and then a big G major, and then we go into our chorus part. And our chorus, where we're kind of we start off mixing up those chords: C major, F major, but then we go to a D minor chord. And the way you play D minor, first finger is going to go to the high E on the first fret, second finger is going to go G string on the second fret, and the third finger goes to the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, uh, kind of the top four strings might be F major 7, that sounds a D minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the D minor, we're going to be going to a G major chord. And then we're back to C major, F major, G major, F major, C major, F major, D minor, G major. C major, F major, and then a big G major. But a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. We're going to talk about a few for the, this particular song. One of my favorite ones if, for a 4-4 four, four like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we just took the C and just tried that a lot. You have C, down, up, up, down, up, down. that through our verse progressions and we'd have C down up, up down C down down up, up down F down down up, up down G down down up, up down C down down up, up down C down down up, up down F down down up, up down G down down up, up down C down down up, up down C down down up, up down F down down up. And if we tried that through our chorus part, we'd have C down up, up down up, F down down up, up down D minor down down up, up down G down down up, up down C down down up, up down F down down up, up down G down down up, up down up, F down up, up down C down down up, up down F down down up, up down D minor down. and then we'd basically be mixing up a lot of those parts through the song. A lot of times instead of doing a down, down, up, up, down, up though, what can sound really cool is to mix it up by doing bass notes on the first down. 
And what I mean by that is like if you took the C chord and did the A string for your bass note, and then did your down up, up, down up, that can sound really, really cool on the intro. So on the C, you do the A string for the bass, down up, up, down C with an A bass, down up. actually on the second C of our verse, it normally sounds like there's something called a C slash E. And what that means is you're playing a C major, but you're using the E string for the bass note on it. So, so there's actually part of it where we're going to think C slash E, where you could do bass on the low E string, and then do your down, up, down, up, up, down, up on the C. So you got C with the low E bass, down, up, up, down, C slash E's with the low E bass, down, up, up, down, C slash E's with the low E bass, down, up. Our F chord, then you do the low E string for the bass if you're doing the bar F. So on the bar you got low E bass, down, up, up, down, up, low E bass, down, up, up, down, up. And then if you're doing your F major 7, you'd be doing the D string for your bass. So F major 7 with a D bass, down, up, up, down, up, F major 7 with a D bass, down, up, up, down, up. And if you're doing the G chord, then we're doing the low E string for the bass on our G major. So you got G with low E bass, down, up, up, down, G with low E bass, down. D minor chord, you'd be doing the D string for the bass. So D minor with the D bass, down, up, up, down, D minor with the D bass, down, up, up, down, D minor with the D bass, down, up, up, down, D minor with the D bass, down, up, up, down, up. So we try that through our verse. You'd have C with the A bass, down, up, up, down, C with the low E bass, down, up, up, down, F with the bass, down, up, up, down, G with the low E bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, C with the low E bass, down, up. Try that through our chorus part, then we got C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, F with a bass, down, up, up, down, D minor with a D bass, down, up, up, down, G with a low E bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, F with a D bass, down, up, up, down, G with a low E bass, down, up, up, down, F with a bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, F with a bass, down, up, up, down, D minor with a D bass, down, up, up, down, G with a low E bass, down, one way you could kind of work through the tune doing the basses but but for myself the song almost has something called a 16th note feel and what I mean by that is right now with the down down up up down up, we're working off of something called an eighth note where if you divided your foot tap and if you'd be dividing it into two parts one two one two one two one two but what a 16th note is is where you divide it into four like one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three and what I really think kind of matches the song is a long down, down, down up. So what, what I mean by that is you do the C with a long down. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four kind of count the sixteenth note. And on the second beat, you'd be going down on one, down on three, up on four. So you'd be going one, two, three, four, down. C with a long down, 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 C down, 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 C down, 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 C down, 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 C down, 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 C 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 down, that through our chorus part then you have the C down 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 down
way you could do, and what I really think works really well for the tune is doing a bass and then the down down of. So if we try that, you can kind of take the bass idea from the other and then use the 16th note um, pattern. So if we tried that with our verse, you'd have C with an A bass, down, down, C with a low E bass, down, down, and F with a bass, down, down, G with a bass, down, down, C with an A bass, down, down, C with a low E bass, down, down, F with a low E bass, down, down, G with a low E bass, down, down, C with an A bass, down, down, C with a C slash E with a low E bass, down, down, F with a bass. Down, down, G, low E bass, down, down, C, the bass, down, down, low E bass, down, down, double the bass, down, down, G, low E bass, down, down, C, the A bass, down, down, double the bass, down, down, G, the bass, down, down, G, low E bass, down, down, C, the A bass, down, down, double the bass, down, down, big G. And then when you get to your chorus part, then we got a C with the A bass, down, down, double the bass. Down, down, you with the D bass. Down, down, you with the bass. Down, down, you with the A bass. Down, down, you with the 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 D bass. D bass, G with the low E bass. Down, down, you with the A bass. Down, down, you with the bass. Down, down, you with the G. So I think that could be a really cool way to work it through the tune. One other weird thing is to play along with the recording. Instead of starting on a C chord, Shania Twain is actually starting on an E flat major chord. So what you want to do is take your capo, and if you put your capo on third fret, then now your C chord is really an E flat major chord. Your F major is really an A flat major. And your G major chord is really a B flat major chord. And when we get to it, your D minor is really an F minor chord. But there are a lot of ways to try it, but let's, let's just take that, that bass down, down, up, and just kind of try that through the tune. So you have your intro lick, right, where we got the three, three, one, oh, two, oh, one, one on the low E, one, oh, three, three, oh, one, three. And then we'd be starting our verse where we got our bass on the A string, down, down, low E bass, down, down, up with the bass. Down, down, G with Louis bass. Down, down, C with bass. Down, down, Louis bass. Down, down, F the bass. Down, down, G with Louis bass. Down, down, C with A bass. Down, down, Louis bass. Down, down, F with the bass. Down, down, G with Louis bass. Down, down, C with A bass. Down, down, F the bass. Down, down, G with Louis bass. Down, down, G with Louis bass. Down, down, C with A bass. Down, down, F with the bass. Down, down, big G. Chorus, right? So then we got our A bass, down, down, up, F with the bass, down, down, D minor with the D bass, down, down, G with the low E bass, down, down, C with the A bass, down, down, F with the bass, down, down, G with the low E bass, down, down, up. And there is this really cool lick on that F chord in the, in the chorus part where you would take that F and go up, 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 down, up, 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 down. Kind of cool to try to throw that in, so it's kind of mixing up that strum pattern just on that one spot. So you have the C with the A bass, down, down, kind of leading into an F with the bass, down, down, G with the low E bass, down, down, up, and then F, 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 down, up, right, and then the C with the A bass, down, down, F with the bass, down, down, D minor with the bass, down, down, G with the low E bass, down, down, C with the A bass, down, down, F with the bass, down, down, big G. And then we'd be back on our verse part. So we got our C with the A bass. Down, down, up, Louis bass. Down, down, up, the bass. Down, 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 big G. And then we got a solo part that, that, that's kind of like a piece of our chorus to our, our last chorus where we got the C with an A. And then we kind of have that cool little arpeggio lick come in where we got the 3, 2, O, 2, O, 1, O. That kind of leads into that last half verse. Down, down, G with Louis bass. Down, down. And then there's that cool little outro loop where we got the three on low E, and then open ends, one and two, one and two, slide the three and four, and then I would play a big C chord. But that's the basics of how you could play You're Still the One by Shania Twain. So good luck!